So hi everyone. So today, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about two aspects for which I've been getting a lot of queries. Right. One is what do I do if I feel my content is weak? And two, what do I do if I lack MCQ skill or I'm not doing that well in the MCQs? Right. So these are two very very important aspects. One is content. The other is MCQ skill. Yes. And third is revision. But revision, I think we talked about yesterday, and DVD is the key for concise, crisp, and very, very high yielding revision. So today I'm going to stick to the two other important aspects, that is content and MCQ skill. Right. So first, how do I identify that I am lacking in content? Right. So please remember, if there is any one of you, and you want to know whether that is content is your weakness right then the single best way to know about it is number of correct questions in the grand test and it has to be a gt which is based on exam pattern and not simply made out of you know uh, your own q bank so please understand that when we talk about grand test it has to mimic a real exam it has to be at the same level as the real exam yes and therefore, we always tell you that, you know, ensure that the grantors are coming through a reliable source. So at DAMS, the faculty is contributing every month their set of MCQs for the grant test, right? So we ensure we are covering important aspects in a rotational manner. Now, once we are seeing the grant test score, what do I want you to know? So anyone who has number of correct questions which is less than 120 okay if your number of correct questions is less than 120 in the grand test uh, yes you definitely need to work a little more on your content and the lower the score goes the more weak your content is right maybe because a you have tendencies maybe because of b uh, you know you don't remember so many things because of lack of revision right or three maybe you are trying to do it very very superficial these could be the reasons why your content is weak okay i repeat number one either you have tendencies you haven't covered the subjects so far two you haven't revised some of these subjects and three you have done these subjects very superficially so what will happen is if it is weak or if you've done it superficially you will be able to rule out two options but you'll be stuck always or majorly stuck into options in most of the MCQs, right? So please remember, if your GT score is less than 120 correct, then yes, you need to work more on the content. Now, what do I mean more? Then I would suggest you need to keep a ratio of 60% and 40%, which means Whatever total time you are spending in a day, 60% of it has to be spent on uh, building up your content. The remaining 40% of time has to be spent on practicing MCQs, right? So this is for people whose score is less than 120, okay? If it is even lower, like 110 or lower than 100, then probably the ratio should be 70-30. 70% of time should be built on working on the content and 30% of time on practicing MCQs, right? Now, if you have realized that content is your problem, okay, how to go about it? The first thing is don't, you know, uh, leave any subject. So the first thing me and Dr. Samay, we have been saying prioritize your tendencies, especially up till DVT. And after DVT also, you can take a week or so, let's say December 25th, let's keep it as our target to finish all pendencies. That's the first thing. Second, if your pendencies include big subjects, right, and you feel, you know, how to cover them up, you feel very overwhelmed, then you have with you the crash course videos. You can definitely use those to accelerate the process. You can even use your back to basic videos to accelerate the process. Right. So both are very good resources. Back to basics should be used for your first reading. Crash course can be used for your first revision. Right. So both these videos will ensure that uh, you are not missing on key things. Right. So please use either the back to basic videos or the crash course videos 
to cover up your pendencies. As I said, for first revision itself, again, you can use the crash course videos. Is that clear to everyone? Right? The second thing, as I said, sometimes the reason for low score is you have pendencies. The second reason I said was maybe you haven't revised subjects and therefore you have a lot of recall problem. Right? Then again, the GT is the best way to analyze. Look at the GTs and analyze them based on the three column strategy. Make the wrong diary and prioritize on subjects which where you're making a lot of recall errors. Right? So they should be started now because you need to do multiple readings. Is that clear? Okay. The third thing. The third thing was maybe you have done your course very superficially. Again, please remember, cutting out a lot of things is going to reduce your score. You cannot go very superficial. So it is a good idea to identify which uh, subjects you are doing maximum mistakes because maybe you have done it very superficially as well. Then again, I would definitely recommend the B2B videos, right, to ensure that your content is not very superficial. Yes, so please remember this. Uh, the three reasons of weak content and the way to make them strong is B2B videos for your first reading and crash course videos for your first revision. Do you have time to see the videos? Absolutely, yes, especially for your pending subjects and especially for your weak subjects. That is the entire purpose of giving you the crash course videos that you can use those videos for your first revision, accelerating it, but at the same time, not missing out on the content. Right, that to everyone? Okay. The second category of students are who have problem with the MCQ skill. I mean, they feel that, ma'am, I have read it. Okay. But when I do MCQs, I'm still not getting them correct. Yes. So these are probably students whose score is beyond 120. Right. So I've divided you grossly into two categories. One's with a score of less than 120. The other's with a score of more than 120. So now second is students who have a score of more than 120. You are currently, so between 120 to 140 bache is the clutter zone, right? Do you understand what is the clutter zone? Clutter zone means in this zone, you will see maximum students, right? So between 120 correct and 140 correct. And therefore, if you increase your score even a bit from what your current score is, you know, you will see your ranks would jump multiple times. For example, if you're currently at 124 correct and you bring it to 134 correct, you're still in the clutter zone, but still you will get far more improvement in the ranks because the maximum number of students are in this zone. So somehow you have to try and come to the upper edge of this zone and in fact cross 140 zone. Yes, do you understand me? Okay. Now, how to build on the MCQ skill? Now, the problem is a lot of students, when they revise their notes, they are reading it like a novel, right? Uh, and you are just flipping pages. You're reading everything all over again, but you are not making any difference to the way you are reading it. So maybe you take the same time as you did in the first revision. And that's, again, very demotivating for you. But at the same time, although you are spending time, your MCQs are not improving. These are the bachas who I will suggest doing the fast track TND will give you the edge. Okay, I repeat, if you are beyond 120, right, and especially if you are between 120 to 140, um, I repeat, you know, the problem is even though you are reading or revising, you are doing it exactly the way you did in the first reading. So you are taking the same time, but still you don't see much improvement in your score. Right, which means you need to learn the MCQ skill, which means how to approach an MCQ, uh, how to rule out options, how to find out keywords, right? How to uh, you know decide what is the better option out of the two, which means you need a little more depth in certain topics, and to be able to revise one subject in a much smaller span of time. That's what you have to learn now because that is what is going to help you in January and February. Yes. So, you know, for all students beyond 120 and especially between 120 to 140, the fast track TND will give you the edge that you need. It gives you the must know topics. It gives you questions on topics, which, as I said, are must knows, but also at the same time, give you the must know depth in that topic. 
right? You can't be very superficial, as I said. Third, it will teach you the teacher's approach to rule out options and how to see what we are trying to ask in the MCQ and then do a retrograde revision. Do you understand this? Right? So the fast track TND will give you a target so that you do your reading once. Then you sit with the teacher and do the discussion so you learn the approach. And then you go back through the fast track TND, do a retrograde with another revision of your notes. Right? So that gives you a, uh, you know, a track to follow. So these are two things I truly feel that you need. Um, and depending on where you are, take December entire month and work on these two aspects. Right? So December month, we are dedicating to, to building content and building MCQ skill. Because from January, me and Dr. Sumer are going to continuously push you for revisions through your DVT booklet. Yes, and that is why we are insisting, take December, build your content, identify where you are you know, lacking. Is it content? Is it MCQ skill? And take a decision now, because you still have time, right? So if you feel the content is, you know, is weak, go through the B2B videos. If you feel all the crash course videos, if you feel the MCQ skill is lacking, Please think of fast track TND. It will surely help, right? So this is uh, what I wanted to tell you. Okay, so I hope uh, you will be able to figure out at least which zone you lie, and if you have more queries, you can ask me. Okay. Uh, okay. Talking about the GOAT edition of DQB, can you use it for uh, you know uh, a retrograde revision of your subject? Absolutely, yes. Because it is again teaching you the must or the most important topics. It also covers PYQs and it gives you the teacher's aspect. We are in the process of doing all these subjects. A lot of them are done. Some are in the process. But please understand, we could have released this teacher for the new batch. We released it specially for all our current subscribers without any additional cost so that you benefit. Right? So we are in the process, Bache. All subjects will keep coming. Then the next important thing that I want to highlight is please, please, please give the CBTs that are coming. It will give you the real picture, the real insight that you need, and we will be able to guide you better through the CBT as well. You will be able to judge yourself better through CBT as well. Right? So CBTs are going to start. You have to give them each one of you, irrespective of what your preparation level is. And as I said, don't feel scared of tests. I told you to be grateful so that you get to know what your mistakes are and you're able to work on your mistakes, right? Yes, CBT can be done from home also. It's called as IBT. So you can do that, but I would still recommend uh, that you know, unless there is a pressing reason, please go to a center and give it. It is a whole new experience when you give it at the center. Okay. Right. And uh, DVT booklets, I think they would be reaching you anytime soon. You can uh, send a query on the WhatsApp number that we keep sharing. Yes. And um, you are able to now, you will be able to collect your DVT booklets from your own centers also. Right. Uh, CBT, no, on, not on the eMedicos app. CBT has to be done on, at an exam center. We, uh, you know, we include a third party who will host it throughout India for us. Uh, but yes, there is a link that will be provided for IBT. So that's not on the eMedicos app. It will be on a special link. It will come in your login details itself. And just to re remind you, uh, CBT comes with video discussions. Dance is the only platform which gives you video discussions for every test that we conduct, right? So whether it is SWTs, whether it is grand tests, whether it is your CBTs, they all come with video discussions and they are a must do, okay? Don't worry. See, even if it is your rock bottom, that means the only way that you can go now is a cyril upwards, right? So take it in the positive stride. You have enough time to improve. Use the time to the best of your ability. Absolutely, yes. Short subjects, um, DVT, a complete, it will be a master blaster. In fact, your notes of short subjects are also like that. You don't get anything out of them. 
Jaspi Tharo Sarko is something that adds to your score, so don't neglect them, okay? Yes, Kirtika, absolutely. I'm not saying you finished it by December. I am saying if that is your problem, then start with TNDs or fast track TNDs in December itself, right? So the TND is something that is an, that is an ongoing process of revision. You have a target, you read by yourself, you give a test, you come back, you analyze. This has to be keep, we have to keep doing this until exams. Test, revision, test, revision, okay? Chalo. Daru, Matt, we are all with you. It's just an exam. Okay? So I think I'm going to uh, stop the session now. And uh, tomorrow and day after, I have a revision class in Chennai. So I'm not going to be there for the transform sessions. But Dr. Sameer is going to be there for you in the transform sessions for tomorrow and day after. Okay? Um, I think rest if you you can send your wrong diaries to me in the telegram or on instagram right i'll give you an insight on what you need to do take care everyone have a great great day and sending you loads of love good wishes and hope you make the best out of today let's not think about what happened yesterday let's not think about what will happen tomorrow let's think about i have today with me how do i make the most out of it right so just be present in the present and use it to the best take care